In today's video, we're going to be going over the Halo 3 PC showcase, going over universal updates, the new challenge system, customization, and user skins. So stick around. Halo 3 on PC is going to be launching on July 14th of 2020, and depending on where you are located, it could possibly be very early or very late at night if the previous releases are any indication. Now we have some information here that was just posted over at Halo Waypoint, and I will put the link in the description in case you guys are interested in taking a look at it. With that being said, the information reads as follows. For the universal updates coming to MCC on both Xbox and PC, it says, as the publishing team talked about in the live stream, we're not just adding Halo 3 PC with this update, we're updating a game across both platforms to include a multitude of other features, fixes, quality of life improvements as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of them. When it comes to Forge, Halo Reach, Halo 2 Anniversary, and Halo 3's Forge will be added to the MCC on PC. Additionally, Halo 3's Forge will be updated on both platforms to include a ton of new features like face physics, coordinate snap, rotation, rotational snap, and increased budget and brand new pieces. With audio fixes, as outlined it in the in-depth explanation in some of the previous Halo development updates, Halo Reach and Halo 3 will be getting many audio fixes across the board to boost up the volume and give it a listen. Now when it comes to Halo 3 customization, as many of you have seen in previous videos covering the recent Halo 3 flight, updated customization is coming back to Halo 3. This indicates a new selected armor pieces and they will be able to be set in any order instead of just being a full system set like they had before and that you will also be able to see your emblem on your shoulder with the armor details and colors in game with halo ce customization for the first time ever halo ce will have officially supported customization options including weapon skins vehicle skins and visors a player's custom weapon skins and vehicle skins will be applied whenever they are in control of them. These skins will stay applied even after dropping the weapon or exiting the vehicle until a new player gains control of the vehicle or weapon. While we're all excited about these additions, we are also aware that some players prefer to keep the original CE feel. And to support those players, they will be providing the in-game option to toggle the skins on and off in the settings menu. Season 2 challenges are coming. In addition to Halo 3, July 14th also brings MCC Season 2 and our new challenge system. Season 2 contains over 100 new customization items which can now be unlocked via campaign, firefight, and multiplayer gameplay challenges. Based on community feedback, we are also making it so that players can choose the order in which they can unlock the seasonal items in any given tier. You will still need to unlock all items in your first tier before accessing the next one but now the order is up to you. The new challenge system will also neatly tie into the events like the Yappening and the Winter Contingency. Before, players would have to read about the events online and wait for a manual grant for their reward without any sort of way to track if they had successfully met the in-game criteria. Now players will be able to see their progress immediately get rewarded when they complete the criteria for the in-game event. There will be a few specific challenges and rewards available to celebrate the launch, which includes the ability to unlock a brand new Halo 3 campaign skull and exclusive nameplate. With Halo 3 ODST Firefight, they broke the news right around the time of the last community update, but they wanted to make sure that they call it out again here. Halo 3 ODST Firefight will be coming to the Master Chief Collection on PC and Xbox One later in the summer. If you already own Halo 3 ODST for the MCC, the addition of Firefight to Halo 3 ODST and the MCC will come at no extra charge. When it becomes available, your game should update and add it without any fuss. We'll see about that. Don't own Halo 3 ODST for MCC? This addition does not change the $5 USD cost of Halo 3 ODST across all platforms. Moving on to playlist updates, as the team hammers hard on the future of the MCC, they've kept up the weekly playlist update. Last week was Shoddy Snipers, and as of yesterday, it's now transitioned over to the sport of the future known as Griffball. 
And speaking of matchmaking, they wanted to make sure that everyone is aware that when Halo 3 launches next week and the new season begins, all player skill rankings will be reset. They've talked about the likelihood of resetting ranks with a new season in the past, and this time it also corresponds to some new back-end updates to matchmaking, including the addition of a new lifetime highest rank stat per ranked playlist going forward. I will put the link for the Halo 3 PC showcase in the description in case you guys are interested in going and watching the full video. Beware though, it is filled with a lot of fluff and this video is me pulling out what I feel are the most important parts. But as always, don't forget, in order to be part of the conversation and have your voice heard, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment in the section down below. If you're new around here, check out some of my previous videos. I upload content weekly. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. I've got my social media and, of course, support for the channel is down there as well. But until next time, everyone, thank you all for joining me here today. And I'll see all of you in the next video.